Hey guys, welcome back to Weekly Hardware Update. I know it's been a really long time. I'm sorry about that. Apologize. Busy. If you want to know why, you go check out my giveaway video. Speaking of my giveaway video, I'm doing giveaway. If you didn't already know, go check that out. Link in the description. It ends on the 1st of January, so be quick. Um, and yeah, um, onto the hardware. Today's going to be a short and sweet episode, so hopefully you guys like that. I'm going to try and make these more interesting because people, one of them is not doing very well, which um, doesn't mean I'm going to stop the series, but... Um, I'm definitely going to try and improve on this. So yeah, I'm going to cut the chat and let's get onto it. So the first um, most exciting thing of today is the RTX 2060 from Zotac. We have two leaked models, uh, one being the Zotac Gaming uh, 2060 amp and one being the and another one being the Zotac Gaming Twin Fan. Um, so these are both pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure they're the same shroud design exactly. They have two fans, 8-pin um, power connector, uh, don't know the I.O. yet or anything, but that looks to have about maybe, maybe is it two heat pipes? I can't really tell, but it looks to have or maybe two heat pipes. You got a logo that lights up, probably RGB. If it's not RGB, I'll be very surprised. Um, we've got, what else? Um, yeah, it's, so we don't really know anything else about this card because it was just a leak by someone got pictures but anyways so yeah but that probably means i mean that means that yeah we're definitely seeing an rtx 2060 which is interesting because i wonder if it'll actually be playable with rtx i wonder if it'll be even like is it just a money thing like are they just trying to get money people to buy rtx stuff even if it doesn't work for rtx just so they can make more money i don't know what do you guys think tell me let me know in the comments so the next thing that we see is the um, RT, or not RTX, what am I, too much RTX in my head, um, RX 590, Nitro Plus, you see, RTX is so confusing, because RX, RTX are so similar, whatever, um, our RX 590 Nitro Plus from Sapphire, you might be thinking, oh, I've already seen the Nitro, Nitro Plus, no, this is the Nitro Plus, not Special Edition, it's just the normal edition, Special Edition is blue, and not the best blue, in my opinion, it'd be cool in a build themed that color, but for 99% of us, uh, it's kind of ugly. Um, but yeah, I think this is exactly the same card. Not even a change in clock clocks. Literally the exact same down to the T, except for the color. It's black. Um, there's no light up blue fans. They're just bl 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 black as well. Um, the black plate is really wonderful looking. Um, similar, I think pretty much the same. Like, same style as the... 580, which I, I absolutely love this card. Um, I would love to get my hands on it, but again, kind of broke. I mean, it's not the most expensive card. I might be able to get it, but anyways, stop talking about me. Um, back to the news. The next thing that we have is from Thermaltake. It's a water block for the RTX 2070. It has RGB, of course. Um, it fits on the RTX 2070 for the Asus ROG ROG cards. Not ROG. <laughs> um, Asus ROG ca cards. It has a backplate with an interesting design. Not my favorite design, but it does have an interesting design. It is one of those cards that has like the the memory and then and the core, the GPU core, and then it like goes above the VRMs to the other side of the VRMs to cool them. I like it when it's all in one piece. That way, you don't get that ugly metal plate on top. But it is a fairly good looking cool um, water block nonetheless and should do most people very good. So Red Max has released some RGB RAM heat spreaders. So no actual RAM in them. You just go on your RAM, you remove your heat spreaders and put them on. Um, this is actually really um, good because most of the Chinese ones that we've already seen have a fan connector and you might think, oh, that sounds really stupid. How does that make any sense? How can you have a fan connector? power rgb well it does work somehow um but guess what you can't control it it's just forever spinning this one plugs directly into a addressable rgb controller that way you can control it and it doesn't look like a constant barfing rainbows that are not synced together at all i think this is amazing and i think we need to see more of these from other manufacturers because this is actually very useful and i might get some for myself although it depends on how expensive they are so thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way here, thank you so much. If you really liked the video, maybe consider leaving it a like or subscribing. Um, and I will see you in the next one.